Yes, welcome to another Out and About with Andy. Today we're in Cala Morada in Mallorca and this is just a little bit of video to kind of talk about what we think of the resort. Now this before the pandemic was considered one of the up and coming resorts certainly to buy property in and you can see why it is really quiet there are um, beautiful coves here and certainly it's very picturesque there are a few downsides though especially if you're a holiday maker and that's basically there are five restaurants here in Calamarada that's it there is a beach bar which we're about to get to but on the whole there's a shop and a few other little shops and that's it there isn't uh, a lot here at all now if your idea of fun is somewhere like Palma Nova or Magaluf this is not the resort for you certainly if you want a really chilled out experience and just enjoy a little bit of local culture um, yeah Calamarada would probably do you but I uh, we'll have to say there is a lot of German influence here so a lot of the restaurants serve a lot of German dishes as well as Spanish ones um, if you like your English food and nothing else this is not the resort for you um, so we're gonna have a wander around and show you a bit of Calamarada So we're off now for a refreshing drink at the beach bar and uh, yeah a nice iced lemon tea I think with the order of the day it is only about 11 o'clock in the morning after all As I alluded to earlier, accommodation, bars and restaurants are in limited supply in Calamarada. Firstly, the hotels. Well, there is only one. Hotel Calamarada. Feel free to check out my review on the hotel later. I'll put a link up top. There are a couple of villas to rent in the resort, but that's about it. Now onto the restaurants, starting with El Mallorcan Can Pedro. 
We ate at this restaurant twice and their set menu is a bargain at 15 euros per person. That includes three courses plus a side salad and bread, a bottle of wine and a bottle of mineral water. We went for Mallorcan soup to start with. I elected for breaded pork chops, rather like a schnitzel, and my wife had the hake. And we chose creme caramel for dessert. Yeah, it was pretty good for the money. Moving on to Casa Ramon, another restaurant offering European cuisine. Dining was a pleasant experience, and I elected for a main course of Mallorcan style tuna, which was served with vegetables and in a sauce. My better half went for liver, which was served with vegetables and apple sauce, which apparently doesn't sound great, but went together rather well. Bartorente is more of a bar than a restaurant, is popular with the local Spaniards and serves burgers, sandwiches and other snacks. Nothing exceptional, however, they do make a fantastic mojito. We found this German-owned restaurant a little bit on the expensive side, 18 euros for pasta carbonara. However, everything was top quality and the meal was fantastic. I guess you pay for a little bit of quality. We also ate at the hotel's own evening service, Gastro Jungler, which was fantastic, reasonably priced, and the food quality was excellent. I opted for a burger, which came with fries and salad, and my wife opted for oxtail tacos, which she said were delicious. We did come across another restaurant in Calmarada, and that was the restaurant La Dorada. However, it was always closed, but it did open on our penultimate evening when we'd already eaten somewhere else. So that's our little review of Calamarada. When we first arrived, we were a little bit concerned that there wouldn't be too much to do and would be a loose end with so little being there in the resort. However, we found ourselves feeling totally relaxed during our stay, very refreshed. So if you're after a nice chilled holiday, then Calamarada may be for you.